where, I mean, you say you're writing a book and it's, you're almost done here. So in that regard, what do you talk about or what are your thoughts on, you know, being a father of daughters or, or sons? I think I, I call it the triangle, right? Uh, the three A's in my mind is called, uh, number one, acceptance, right? Accept the situation as it is, whether you're born from economic, uh, economic standpoint or skin color, whatever, wherever you're at in life, mm-hmm. whoever's wronged you, you accept that, right? It, yeah, it happened. It happened, right? Yeah, yeah. The next phase is you assess it. Assess what happened. Why did it, what led up to that? What are consequences of the actions or, or, or the catalyst, I call it? And then at the end of the day, you make adjustments accordingly. So you you accept, you you assess, and you adjust accordingly. There's a lot of times where if you go through the circle of grief, right, you have a catalyst, something that kind of strikes a nerve, and you instantly go to the emotional side. As human beings, we tend yeah. to do that from the emotional. But we stay in the emotional side for a significant time, a deal of time. Whether it's, hey, my father's not there, I hate him, so I'm going to do this in spite of that. Or I've been wrong, or I'm not feeling loved or whatever you you stay there but instead of saying like hey what do i need to do look in the mirror and say what i need to do to improve Mm -hmm. the situation Mm -hmm. being that that's the situation i'm in yeah that's i mean that's a victim mentality right which is what can i do this hap life happened to me and so i have to i have to accept what happened i have to accept it and this is what it is yeah but yeah the next step after that is what can i do to change it yeah right and so always and part of the it's, I love this quote, and it's it's in the book, but and I didn't write this. It's like successful people believe in in two things in life, right? One, the future can be better, and then number two, I have the power to make it so, mm-hmm. right? And so that doesn't mean you're perfect. Has no has nothing to do with sure. you being perfect. It has everything to do with you being able to correct it yeah. or work towards a progression of it. Yeah. And as soon as you stop working towards that progression of being better, then you you're kind of lost that battle already. So for me, it's like failing forward is phenomenal make that mistake take that risk that is the story of this podcast two (laughs) steps forward (laughs) one step step back (laughs) but we're still one step forward at the end of of every every step i like to think so in spite of i think jeff's pants were definitely one of those steps backwards i took a risk you You did did take a risk this is practical this is a big risk some might say it's a step forward some do some some say. Some, some say. Some, some, some say. I wouldn't say this, but some but would say. Some saying, yeah. Jeff's never worn sweatpants you know, better. I want to tell you, something. There you okay. go. There these we are, go. These are amazing pants. Okay. You should see I them. wouldn't say it, but some <laughs> others would say it. I walked in. I said, wow, what <laughs> pants. I saw his pants. Wow, what pants I said. <laughs> that's that's uh, Shane, Shane Gillis' Gillis. description yeah. of how to do. You do Trump. You say, wow. you say he comes in, he says. He says he does a thing and then he describes again that he does a thing. I walked in a room. I said, wow, I'm in a room. <laughs> yeah. It's that pattern. Yeah. yeah that's that's yeah. how you do a good Trump. He hasn't um, said anything, but it's so great. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. It goes back to that lens you're talking about. And I think we're probably going to land this plane. But uh, like... If, you, if you're looking through a lens, like a victim mentality, and I think so much of society and culture right now, even with the best of intentions, we're teaching people to be victims. Yes. And it's keeping people as victims. And it doesn't mean like anybody could like, oh, just go start a company, become a CEO, and you'll be fine. But in each individual circumstance, wherever you're at, you can make the most of it. It, it doesn't yes. mean everyone's going to be... Not everyone is born with equal gifts. Correct. But... I feel like there's a lot of like, hey, this is, you, it's not your fault that you're like that. Stay there. You're fine just where you're at. And there's a reality. Like you're from the Christian view. You are acceptable wherever you're at. It Correct. doesn't mean you stay there and yeah. you don't like you don't make the best of where you're at and, and move forward. You don't need to own anything and you'll be Dude, that's, happy. That is the beauty. Like that. that is the best. I feel like that's the best message that Jesus gives. Like you don't. I don't want you to stay where you're at. Yes. Like he doesn't, he doesn't, he accepts you for who you are, accepts you for who you're at in that moment. And then is like, okay. And he tells the vultures to fuck off. Yeah, he does. You don't get to throw stones. Get out of here. Right. Get out, get out of here because my goal is to bring this person from where they are up. Yes, he yes. wants Jesus wants us to move upward and and to live in a more full, rich, deeper life. Amen. That's 
dude, that's the best version of Christianity. And that's that. What's funny is how many people would argue with that? Like, how many people, many. if that was the argument they give you, like, look, here's the essence of what Jesus is saying. He's like, recognize, recognize the place that you're at right now, and know that I want more for you. Yeah. 